Now when I come home late at night and I'm feeling peckish, I say no problem making a good sandwich or fajita. So for the sandwich we're using superseded bread here. And the first thing we want to do is apply a light coating of creamy Irish butter, certainly now margarine, just very gentle coating there, nice and light, sort of like a football pitch, you want to be within the lines, we don't want any offsides, we want the ball in play at all times. as simple as that okay and for the crunch we're going to be using some baby gem lettuce here down the middle like so and then we're going to add some chicken breast these are substantial pieces we don't want any of that nonsense from the supermarket that resembles razor blades now this chicken has been cooked in a homemade Cajun chicken blend with half a yellow pepper, half a red onion, and one crushed garlic. Okay, now at this point you want to add some beautiful British mature cheddar cheese. Just a light sprinkle just want it to gently kiss the chicken and for an added bit of sweetness we have a tomato here which I'm going to slice for you pieces as thin as possible and just like the players on a pitch just line them up like so with your formation if you want to you can add a little bit of home ground spring onion This will give it a little more added crunch, like the baby chip. And for the sauce, we're using the one and only Hellman's mayonnaise. gentle squeeze, not too much, not too little. Okay, then you want to place the roof onto the house. To bring your design onto your chopping board. Now, sandwiches weren't designed to be diagonal going to slice like so, 
use of the knife cuts right down to the chopping board okay and there is your beautiful sandwich okay now that the sandwich is complete we're going to do a fajita white flour tortilla now first you want to add some crunch you want to add some lettuce no need for cutting this time I'm going to have it like so like the halfway line on the pitch and when you incorporate your substantial amount chicken breast just ensure that it runs parallel with the halfway line this is your midfield okay now also be sure to include plenty of sweet yellow pepper and red onion where the sweetness will come from. I'm going to add some tomato. I'm going to take three slices there. And I'm going to cut it in half. it like so it's around a 45 degree angle okay and we're going to incorporate some more British mature cheese delicately sprinkle your cheese on Now with the Cajun seasoning that is a little bit of kick and again we're going to be incorporating Calman's mayonnaise we're going to drizzle like so just a small amount there Now with the wrap, you want to take the base of one end, like a slide, gently fold, and tuck in, and roll her up like so. Okay, so when you're feeling peckish at night, that is your sandwich, and there is your feet.